Hello, Cryptograms here. Welcome back to another C Sharp Crash Course video. Today we're going to be doing namespaces again because I forgot to show you some cool stuff that you can do with them. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe to my channel if you're new, comment your feedback, suggestions, questions, and all that good stuff below, and check out my other videos in the top right corner. Check out my Patreons in the description below. Let's get on with it. I have created um, two static, or now they're static two static classes actually this is gonna be static this is gonna be non-static right okay so what we're gonna try to do is we're gonna try to um, call this and from each namespace in here okay now this is group dot one and this is group dot two so what's cool about this is that you can import if you have the same like name I guess in the same format you can do extendable dot group right or you can just do extendable dot group dot one or two okay so that's the cool thing with this right here let's start with the static or the non-static one okay this one right here so how are we gonna access this so we have created our group thing right here right now we gotta type um, extendable group dot two dot main dot and our method in here now the problem is this is that this is a non-static method right so we can't really call this okay so we just make this a static method or we can call that in a static or non-static method just like this and it should run just fine so the thing is that we can't just import this right um, this is where our static class comes to save today so what we do here is using um, extendable dot group dot one and now you've probably seen me do this in the past and if you've watched my unity idle game tutorial videos is the static okay so we're gonna add um, dot main to it but we're also gonna add um, a static keyword to it okay so now what we can do here is that we can do uh, run okay that's it <laughs> That's pretty much it. But now the thing is that it can be confused between um, which one is going to use, one or two. So you see we get this ambiguous uh, right here. So what we do is if we do main.run, okay, you see it's still going to get confused. We have to do, let's see. So the thing here is that it's, ambigu it's ambiguous, okay. So you got to use one or the other, right. So let's say we want to use it for one. So let's copy this right here and replace it up here. And we can use this one, right? But now we're still having this issue between the ambiguous or not. So we have to get rid of this one right here like that. Okay. So in this case, we can also get rid of this right here now because we have uh, imported it as a static reference to the main class like this. Okay. I'm going to get rid of this one right here. Okay, so just for review, you can only have, if you have two static uh, namespace references like this with the same method names and the same class name like this, you have to do one or the other or else it's becoming ambiguous, right? So I chose to stick with um, uh, group two and I decided to not do it for group one and it looks just fine. So if we run it, we should see um, I, am group for, I am from group two and then I am from group one. Anyways, if this video was helpful, make sure you smash the like button, subscribe to my channel if you're new, and turn on those notifications. Uh, comment your feedback, suggestions, questions, all that good stuff below. Check out my Patreon in the link in the description. And uh, check out my other videos in the top right corner. I have started the Antimire Dimension series, so if you haven't checked that out, make sure you do, because I think it's going to be a really fun one. Anyways, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Peace.